Hello everyone and welcome to 5th North. I'm Demir and today I'm taking a closer look at the metric gloves from Revit. The metric gloves from Revit come in at what I would call a mid-cuff glove. They are definitely not a full gauntlet glove, but they are a bit longer than most of the other short gloves that I own. As you can see, this part here comes a bit above the wrist. The metric gloves are aimed at sport riders and would qualify as a hot weather glove as they do flow quite a bit of air. From a pricing standpoint, the metric gloves from Revit come in at $119 at the time of this filming and are available in sizes all the way from small up to 3XL. If you are interested in picking up a pair, feel free to click the link in the description as it is an affiliate link and it does help out the channel quite a bit. Okay, so let's dive in and take a closer look at the construction of these gloves. Let's start with airflow. These gloves flow really well as you have this 3D mesh material at the wrists as well as on the pinky. And you also have this breathable material between the fingers that goes all the way around. These features really make these gloves comfortable even during the hottest summer rides. I have worn these gloves during the summer here in Texas. It was over 90 degrees and my hands felt totally fine. Moving on to airflow and to sizing, I feel like the metric gloves from Revit fit true to size. What I mean by that is that in most riding gloves, I wear a size large and these gloves are no different. A large fits me perfectly. Um, in my opinion, if you use the Revit size chart, you should have no issues with the sizing on these gloves. Next, let's look at materials. These gloves have goat leather, 3D mesh, PWR stretch material, and a few others to make these gloves really functional. Let's start from the top. Around the wrist, we have the 3D mesh. Again, this is extremely breathable and comfortable, and the gloves are secured with Velcro, making it really easy to take them on and off and to get them to fit comfortably around your wrists. Moving down from there, this is where the PWR stretch material comes in. This material makes it really comfortable and easy to bend your hands and move your thumbs as you're utilizing the bike's controls. The gloves will get more comfortable as they break in, but even right from the jump, the stretch material makes them extremely functional. The metric gloves from Revit feature a hard TPU knuckle. It is a split design as you can see here, and it does feature foam around the outside to provide additional comfort. Around the hard knuckle, the glove features goat leather in this area as well. And as we go to the fingers, you will notice additional TPU in four places on the fingers. Speaking of fingers, the fingers also feature accordion sections for better dexterity, and the index finger and the thumb both feature touchscreen friendly technology, making it possible to utilize your smartphone while wearing the gloves. All right, let me just cut in real quick here with the PSA. Please, 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 when you're riding, do not be distracted by your smartphone or any other gizmos or gadgets. Riding is dangerous enough as it is. We don't need to add any extra layers of complexity to it. So please, again, do not ride while on your phone. Anyway, let's get back to the video. Let's look at the inside of the gloves. The goat leather continues in the palm and it's paired with some additional stitching here on the inside. I really like goat leather and gloves as to me it feels comfortable, offers great protection, and also breaks in really well over time. All right, now this is one of my favorite features of the metric gloves from Revit. Now, whether it's the right thing to do or not, instinctually as humans, when we fall, we tend to stick our hands out right out in front of us. Unfortunately, when we do that, this part of our hands really gets it. Double stitched additional leather covers all the way from the side of the pinky to the bottom of the palm. And on top of the second layer of leather and the extra stitching, we also have this piece right here. In my mind, a spot that would see the most impact, this piece is a hard TPU honeycomb slider that offers additional protection without being in the way or being uncomfortable. Like the TPU on the outside of the glove, this part is also padded with foam. And again, the placement and size is really good in that it provides great additional protection without being in the way. Lastly, let's talk about the look of the glove. In my opinion, they look great, they are not overly bulky, and they come in three different colors. We have an all black version, a black and yellow with red accents, and lastly my favorite, and the ones that I went with, the black and white with red accents. Also notice that each color will have the Revit logo on the index finger spelled out, as well as the Revit symbol logo on the wrist. Again, overall to me, a great looking glove. Overall, the metric gloves from Revit offer a great value in my opinion, both from a look comfort and protection feature standpoint, you really can't go wrong by getting a pair if you're in the market for a hot weather glove. All right, so I hope you found this video useful. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button for me. And if you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button as well as it does help my channel out quite a bit. And don't forget, hit that notification bell as well. That way you know when the next video comes out. With that being said, thank you all for watching. Have a great night and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. <laughs>